Yo, what is going on YouTube? It is OG, and today we're going to be coming covering uh, the third place games. So they're really important games because if we do win it, then we qualify in the same exact position as the two other teams that qualified, which were B Omen and IX Academy. But if we lose it, then we do miss out on the online qualifiers for the month, which would suck. The race is pretty close right now. It's between us and Omen at the moment, but there's a lot of other good teams that are like starting to make a really convincing case that they could be in the race too. Um, so every like qualifier really matters and every point really matters too to qualify for the World Cup next year. Anyways, um, so these are the third place games and they're against Red Bun, who we did beat in the finals last time to qualify for Poland, which got canceled. Um, but they're like compensating for the event with like an online final versus South America. So that's going to happen in two weeks and that's going to be really important for us as well too. But we really need to win these games just to qualify for the next NA one and just get a chance to redeem ourselves against those guys that beat us and against Omen too, who both those teams qualified by the way. Anyways, let's get into the games. All right, guys, game number one. Now, the bans for the set, I think, were... We banned Mr. P. Uh, we pretty much banned him out the entire time. But I think they banned... I want to say Sandy. So, they're going to go triple tank. I really hate triple tank. So, if they get a bot, they kind of, like, almost automatically win unless we did, like, an insane amount of damage to their safe just because their defense is so strong. And it's really important for us to get the first bot. So, Bobby's going to hit a really nice pull there. And you can see this game, like... I'm just going to be as aggro as possible and just, I'm using the damage star power, I think, uh, just because they do play tanky comps a lot and, you know, the damage from Barley's extra star power is actually like really impactful. So our comp, it's not like awful against triple tank. It's not like the penny comp and heist that we like lost to. That, that was really bad. <laughs> Anyways, um, you can just see I'm getting so many supers and same with Bobby. We're just like hard chaining our super. Same with crying and we just need to be so aggro here and just get a robot and then try spawn camping them so bobby's gonna get so many pulls this game i'm gonna get like so many supers and but the thing is if they get one bot like they actually do have a really good chance at winning just because their defense is gonna be perfect like they have so much stuff unless unless we get like a huge bot and we just take them out really early so crying's gonna get a really really good roll there um but you can see they're slowly like building up on bots and they always go for the third robot here so that's gonna be a really big issue and you can see I'm going to use my super really early. That way I get so much value because they, their strat is just to like stand in front and tank. So we know we have to like do a serious amount of damage here and Krang just rolls in and we want a one push but we can't just because they have so much DPS but we get it really low and I can just kind of like chain my supers that I've been getting all game on um, their safe from that range and Krang is also Daryl so he can just roll in on safe pretty much. Um, so I'm going to get as many supers as I can here. RC is going to be generous and like stand in my barley super. But they're avoiding me. They know what like I'm trying to do at this point, And they'll actually chase down crying man when they should have focused on me. So at this point, I'm like, yo, Bobby, just body block for me. Like I can finish it. I have all my regular shots. And, you know, we would have been we would have lost. I think we would have got one push if we didn't finish it there. Um, so luckily, we were able to get the DPS out and just finish it in time. Alright guys, game number two, so we're up one nothing. obviously best of three, same format as it usually is. So they're going to go with the same comp, we're going to go with the same comp, and like I said, the first robot is so impactful, so we're just really going to spam. Actually, they got rid of Frank. They got rid of Frank and added um, Primo, I think? I don't think they had Primo last time. Primo or Bull, one of them. Anyways, um, unfortunately, they're going to like pick up two early bolts, but we are going to tie it up, and if we did get the first robot, it would have been really good for us. Like, tying's not the end of the world, but... Just, if we get the first robot, um, we can spawn trap them, like, pretty much. And that's what we did last time, and um, you can just see they have so much HP that we really need to get these pinches going and just stop them from picking up any bolts possible. Um, but they're actually doing a really good job. And some of the spawns, like, they're kind of all over the map, which they should be, but it's not always like that. And they're just going to, like, manage to, like, barely stay alive. I focus not on Jigsaw because I want to get RC and stop him from getting the bolts. Jigsaw can't get any bolts out there, so... Um, but we can just pinch him here, and we really want to take out RC. I don't know why my barley shot didn't hit him there. He, like, literally walked through it, like, my super, and it didn't hit him. Um, it hit him once, but there was, like, second puddle that should have hit him as well. And if we could defend this, we have a really good chance of winning. But it's going to be super hard because they can just collapse on us and a level 11 robot is really big. So Krang's got to catch it early and it does switch sides, which kind of sucks for us because I would use my super on two of them and the barley robot 
or sorry, and the robot <laughs> died, not the barley robot. And you can just see he tanks for the robot, even though the robot's closer. He tanks for it, and like the siege doesn't pick up on it, and they're able to finish off that. So, kind of sucks. That's like the danger of playing against triple tank, and you know, it's really risky if you don't get that first robot. All right, so game number three, we kind of thought they were going to go triple tank, and we're like, yo, we're not losing to triple tank again. So we go like an anti tank kind of comp. Now, I played so bad in this game. This was my worst game of the tournament. Um, 100% and I think we still um, could have done really good in this game It's just I needed to do more and the strat is for me to like break the walls and you can see crying doing a really good job Just getting a flank off and I do pick up my super here um, But I do wait a little too long if I like shot it right away Then I could have got jigsaw there and I could have got value back and got my super back But they are gonna pick up the first robot and crying is doing a really good job on M So you got so much value off there me and Bobby were both we all like can defend really well with this comp and crying's to do a really good job he'll take out the tick which is their main source of damage obviously and you want to focus on that so he played that perfectly um and we're going to defend pretty good it's 20 percent, which isn't the end of the world and the tick head's just going to catch me out too i try getting it and like one ike shot but it, that sucks because i need like my full hp and it takes so long for frank to regen so i kind of think like i just need to get my super and just like start breaking walls for crying um that way he can at least be doing stuff so bobby's going to help out with the pinch Unfortunately, he misses his roll and he'll get taken out and the Rose is going to survive. Um, and then the Ticket will go on crying. And it looks like we have to defend here again. So I like I do want to break walls, but I will also want to get value. So I can, like, we need my super for defense here. Otherwise, we'll take too much damage. Um, and I just got to like suck it up and like super the bot. And I'll get some shots off of RC. So I'm one shot off now. But getting the stun kind of like just like... They're not going to look to push just because we slowed it down so much and they only get 8% so that was definitely the right call in my opinion and we're really close to getting this robot too but they obviously have like full position right now so I kind of like just I'm frank so I want to get some supers off um, and I get a really good super there and I'll hit two of them but unfortunately they just stay alive if crying stays alive there like not saying it's his fault but it would have changed the game and we would have got the last robot or even if we don't get the last robot with our comp like if I have super and Bobby has super um, we can literally just like run in and tank but we got to play defense unfortunately if crying did stay alive it's not his fault but if he did just theoretically um, you know we could have 100 percent won this so i don't think the comp was really the issue it was just more like the execution and like i said i'll take i'll take the blame for that one i did not get enough supers off and i didn't get enough value off of the ones that i did get so that game was on me i should have like when i'm on frank i expect to do like a lot better um so unfortunately we are gonna lose the first set all right guys so set number two is backyard bull i really love this map i'm so happy they added a competitive and you can see we have pretty much mirror comps the only difference is brock and B. so they have b um just for more burst but we have brock for a wall break and you can see i'm kind of i want to be really aggro here because we do have pressure on the other side of the map um but b does kind of like counter penny i guess in like an open lane especially so she'll get her like super shot so i have to like respect it a little more but i see that jigsaw's overextending and i just really want to like get my penny turret out first because it's such a game changer and i'm getting really good value so I got to like back up here, obviously on like one shot and I don't want to go down. Um, but they'll get their Pam tour out on my side, which it, it doesn't affect me too much. Like I said, I'm not looking for kills here. I'm just looking for my penny turret and my penny turret. It's literally, it, it does like, <laughs> it's just the carry of the team. So Asian kid's going to get really aggro here and they'll like pretty much like just one shot me because he does have a super thing. But you can see right before I die, I did get my penny turret. So that's fine. Bobby's going to put the Pam turret on my side and... RC kind of throws here. I don't know what he thought he was going to do, um, but it's fine. And we'll get like position just because of that. He should have just stayed alive and like held position, but I'll take out their penny turret and crying is going to take out their walls. Um, so we got really good pressure on them. My penny turret is going to take out jigsaw there and I'm in a really good spot just to kind of like flank them and chip them down. And we're like pretty much like team wiping them. So I'll take out their Pam turret and I'll place a really aggro one. But unfortunately my teammates both go down. Um, so I kind of get stranded and I thought we were like going to be able to hold position there, but I'll try to getting as, a, as much value as I can so I can start working towards that penny turret. Um, but it would have been really huge for us if we stayed alive there and just kind of like spawn trap them. But they did get taken out, unfortunately. And um, now we got to play defense a little bit. So Jigsaw is going to waste his turret. Um, definitely you don't want to do that. You got to like just know when you're going to go down sometimes. 
and I'll just place my turret kind of like casually back so we can like work our way slowly up the map and I want to like build up another turret for overtime because in overtime it's just really good to have like one turret on the field and then another turret just like ready to go because they are still really good in overtime but they're like a lot more vulnerable there's nothing to hide them behind so Krang's gonna get a really good super there and he'll take out um, their B and we're looking really good in overtime so uh, I put I put my turret down too early and it, also I have the wrong penny star power out <laughs> so that's actually like really huge just because like area denial and like it would have won that 1v1 with the turret um, not that it would have mattered too much but um, I have it from heist earlier <laughs> so that's pretty big um, but they are going to take out crying and RC does have super shot so he almost gets past half and then Bobby super passes it to me and we just kind of like team wipe and we'll just score. So really well played for my team and myself there. We pretty much controlled most of the map. Just like a few like small misplays and miscommunications, but it was a good game overall. All right guys, game number two. So everyone's going to keep their comp. We almost switched to B just because if they did do triple tank, we wouldn't be that good against it. And this team does triple tank a lot. So they'll do it again. Um, so it's just something that you always have to keep an eye out for against them. But I'm going to have the Penny matchup. Uh, like I said in my last video, I love having that matchup. Just because it's like poke, which I'm really good at. Um, and you can see I'm getting like a little more value. Like, I like sometimes you just have to focus on the other lanes and stuff. So he'll get like me there, but he does waste his shots. So I know I can just like run up and auto aim him. And we get like the Penny turret out. So he did put himself in a really bad situation there. Um, just because Bobby had priority and we could pinch him a lot more easier than RC could pinch. And Bobby's gonna get a really good shot off and just sneak the first goal like right away. It caught me off guard. I didn't even know he was going for it. Like right there, I didn't even pick up on it. But really good play from Bobby and he will get the first goal, which is huge, obviously. Also, I just wanna say like throughout this, this tournament was a nightmare, mainly because my Wi Fi was so bad and like I was disconnecting the entire like first half of the tournament. I wasn't in this, these games, but my iPad was literally at like 4% at this point and it was like getting like, you know when it's like low and I got I got the 5% battery right there. <laughs> That's why I stood still. Um, so it was really like, we had to like check it in between games and like we had to stall sometimes and just like let me charge really fast so it didn't die. Um, and then Bobby's Wi-Fi was going out too. You'll see he like just straight up disconnects in a second. So it was kind of annoying. Like we couldn't just focus on the game. We had to like worry about like, stuff like battery and then just wi-fi because my wi-fi is so bad like i can't play on it so i got i got it like an ethernet cord and i just plug my internet in there and you can see bobby straight up like disconnects um so we gotta like <laughs> we gotta just hold it down at this point they could have scored there 100 percent um but they chose to go back for whatever reason if he like threw the ball against the wall and just took out crying and then passed a jig or something like that they could have scored um but they're gonna play it like way too passive and we'll actually do a really nice recovery and then he just kind of goes for it but it's way too late at that point um so kind of a big misplay from them but at this point we're in a really good spot now because we do have uh their walls broken open and we're just kind of like chipping them down really good so bobby's gonna help me out on the jigsaw matchup and then we can just take him out and bobby's just gonna go around and clean up pretty much so we're gonna take the brawl ball set okay this is funny he just like leaves it <laughs> so bobby's gonna get both the goals and just shows off for you guys a little bit on that last one. All right, guys, so set number three, and there it is, triple tank. Luckily, we do have a really good comp against triple tank, um, but we weren't really anticipating it here, but thank God we brought the M's with us. The M's is like such a savior against triple tank. Um, and you can see Agent Kid does a really good job just poking there. He'll take me out. Um, it's not the end of the world because he gave me so much value, and my super is just such a game changer. So if I can chain my supers, it's gonna be so huge for us um and he'll just kind of like roll in i really don't like that play because it just gives me super and we'll just kind of like kite them around and i pretty much just get my super back in like they had position so they like just needed to be a little more patient i think and asian kid thinks he's like safe he'll just like roll around and pretty much bobby just he's a smart gene he just like waits for it and it's an easy auto and pull <laughs> and you know at this point we just have to like move as, as a group and just like take them out together because they do have a lot of hp and we do have a really good comp against it not like the best but we can definitely like burst them down together it's not like the penny and like 
Carl. <laughs> so um, crying is just kind of he can play mid too. Like the only thing he has to worry about is if Primo has a super or Daryl, and Primo's not even close at this point. So we're just gonna like pinch our C to get him out of there. That way we can't get pinched as easily. Um, and I do have my super, but we want to save it ideally. Um, so I won't even use it there, and we'll just get like a free pinch. Now I want to cover with my super for them, but. We don't think we'll get team wiped at this point, so Bobby knows RC's right there and he's going to go for something, so he'll get a really good pull, and he actually aimed that one because he's in the grass. Um, so props to Bobby. But he'll get a really good pull, and the only, like, they could have team wiped if he was live, honestly. He did have a shield, and there's a chance, but we all had our supers, so we were, we were pretty safe at that point. So we played that pretty well. Okay, guys, uh, game number two. So really big game. We want to take the lead and I can't stress how important this like match is just so we can stay ahead of everyone um, and they're gonna have a spike on my lane which is definitely like difficult for me to deal with but I do have the easy side on this map um, crying's on the tough side well he's M so it's just kind of spam so I'll like I know how to dodge spikes so <laughs> I just kind of like uh, wait for it and wait for my opportunity and then I'll just like take out my lane and that's why I couldn't do that on the other side obviously I have the grass on this side I get like I get too greedy here and I'll give up like a way too much value. I thought I could like just be sneaky again and take him out, but I'm getting really close to my super. Um, so Ryan's going to do a good job getting his side and just winning it. And I just need to like get some chip here because I am really close to my super at this point in the game and crying. They're just scared of crying side, honestly. So they're like looking to make a play on my side and crying's going to show himself, which is fine. I think he'll get solo pulled here, yeah. So he didn't check, which, uh, I mean, when Terra gets her pull, it's kind of like, it's not GG, but she has to like misplay pretty much. Um, and here talking about misplays, I just die. I wanted to pull it and then have my tower minion tank for me. And that way I could like keep my side and just, but I, I will go down. So I'm just like, okay, like I'll take like this side. Um, it's fine if I get pulled, we can like pinch and he'll just like whiff his super, unfortunately. So, well, fortunately for us, unfortunately for them. And then we'll get a really good pinch and I'll trade it with Jigsaw, which is actually really big because I think I do get my super off that and um, we just take out a gene with a pull, which is huge. So I just got to protect Bobby and crying at this point. So I'll just like get rid of RC, one less person to real or worry about and Jigsaw is going to like waste his pull on me. I don't think he could have made anything happen anyways. So we will take gem pretty convincingly. All right, guys. Um, so this is it for us. If we win, we will qualify for third. And I don't understand this team because they are literally like... I feel bad for RC because in the room after they were like, he's like, guys, can you like, please like try? Like, why are you trolling? Like, I don't, I don't know why they did this. Um, it's just really a waste because I don't know. It just looks like it makes them look stupid when you're like trolling in like a really important match like this. So like the Colt would have been, I mean, questionable, but the Mort is just like straight up troll. So we can just leave them on the safe. Like there's nothing for me to even commentate. It's just literally them trolling. Um, which it sucks because it just makes our scene look bad and um, you know I don't condone it at all and I do want to win like the right way but I can't control what comps they play um, so this game's literally free and I don't like if my teammates did that to me I would I don't think I'd play with them again like if they just trolled I'd, I'd ask them to get kicked off the team so we'll just like take out their safe and free win like i said so i don't understand them all right game number two they actually have a talk like in our game room and they decide to try which they really honestly had a good chance of winning just how we were playing as a team today like i don't think we played well as a team at all um and you can see they use a really sweaty comp so the plan like i really wanted to go spike lane so i could just run through my lane but bobby doesn't have m's and crying was playing really good on carl all day so we wanted him to stay on carl so unfortunately i get stuck on m's and bobby's gonna lose his lane and um, it's going to be like, I'll get like really good value off Asian kid and I take him out there, but it's going to be really sus. Crying just kind of like YOLOs for the safe again. And it does like, it wasn't the right call again, just because they have a spike on safe and like he's standing inside the safe doing like 5k damage per shot pretty much. So he really needs to stop doing like, he can't just do that every time. And Bobby's like kind of stuck on defense. He's auto aiming. He takes out RC. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> gotta aim that one a little earlier um but it's fine bobby's like just cleaning up on defense so he does like team wipe um and it's really close at this point but the play was definitely not to just like let the spike go on safe without saying anything and we just really need control so agent is gonna get a super first so pretty much wins this matchup just because of his super and everyone's is using like the healing one right now because it's so broken and it's gonna be really close but they will take it um 
And it's just letting your lane freely go to safe when he can out damage you. So <laughs> we will lose the second heist map or game. All right, game number three. Um, so this will decide if we move on or if we have to play a fifth map. Um, so we're doing the same comp. It's just we can't like we had to talk about like what went wrong. And um, Bobby's gonna play more passive at first here, and just they're not gonna get like total map advantage. So Crying's actually gonna get taken out. He was way too aggro there, but. The left side is kind of easier for me to cover just because it doesn't have a huge barricade there. So I'll pinch Jigsaw and we'll get pushed back, but it's not as bad as it was last game. And, you know, they're in a really good spot right now and I'd definitely rather be in their spot. But we're like, we're holding out, I guess. I got to like heal up at this point because I can just get taken out and it takes me longer to respawn. But Bobby's going to use his speed and Crying's going to take out Jigsaw there, which will let us move up and he can go to safe now. It's fine. Um... Because me and Bobby are on defense, and he can do some work on the safe, and we do need to catch up a bit. They didn't get a huge amount of damage. It was only, like, 20%. It could have been a lot worse. So I decided, to like, I can't just, like, stay there. I need to get some bush so I can make this matchup even. And I will take out their M's with some help from Bobby. But I do get taken out, unfortunately, by Jigsaw, and we got to, like, be careful at the spike lane. But Crying did some really good damage to their safe. Um, and now Bobby almost takes out Jigsaw. Those ones, those ones hurt when they get away with like 40 HP, like something like really close like that. So I'll just like kind of try stalling here until their speed wears off. And I gotta like pinch over on mid here just because there is a lot of pressure. Um, so Asian Kid is actually gonna take me out. Um, it's close, but, and then I do use, I thought I could heal up to save one shot and I was really close, but he'll take me out and he gets off with like, 500 HP, um, but my teammates are doing a really good job at doing damage on the other side of things So we actually have a pretty good lead right now and Bobby almost takes out M's too. That's the second time that happened. <laughs> it feels bad um, But we do have a pretty good lead right now So we just kind of like have to hold on and just get them out of our grass here So crying is gonna do a really good pinch 34 HP again um, just so unlucky and you know, we'll get taken out, but I have my super so I can just do work on defense and crying's on their safe And he's just like in that Carl position where you can spam it. You'll see right there and he gets I think if he stayed there He could have finished it, but it's fine um, And we just have to hold on for like five seconds It's actually like really close because the M's can burst it down and RC is coming through So we got a body block here and we'll just hang on so really close games besides the first one where they were trolling in heist and we do manage to move on and qualify for the next NA finals. Alright guys, so really good games here and like I said it was kind of unfortunate that we had to like stress about like Bobby's Wi-Fi and like my iPad battery um so it was just little things. It was a rough day but and I was really mad about it um just how the games went because I think we should have like won all our games. I think we should always win our games in NA. Um, but, you know, it doesn't always go the way you think things should. Um, but, you know, all that matters is that we do qualify. We're in the exact same position as the other two teams that qualified. And we just got to get like our stuff together for when we play them again in a month. So we got a lot of time to prepare and we didn't prepare nearly as well as we should have for this one. So it's definitely a wake up call um, for me and hopefully my team too. Anyways, um, that is going to be it for today's games. Hope you all enjoyed it, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace.